Hello, um, I'm Duncan, I'm the pastor at Trinity Church Sunderland and uh, I thought I'd uh, light a candle for you today as we think about uh, Advent and the coming of Jesus at Christmas. Um, this is an Advent candle, um, we have one each year, you know, each day burns down just uh, uh, a, a day as uh, we approach Christmas. And I was just thinking at Christmas, uh, we often think of uh, Jesus being the light of the world and we love light at Christmas, we love candles, we love um, lights, Christmas lights on the tree and, and lights in the town and, and, and down at the beach and uh, we even have the stadium of light don't we and we think about light because it's a, a sense of comfort, uh, it lights the way and uh, you can see where you're going and, and, and we love light because it gets rid of darkness and, and, and so as we think of Jesus of course he's the light of the world that's how he's described um, by those who follow, it's how he describes himself and uh, and he's the one who comes in and he does bring comfort, he does bring um, security, he does light the way in how we should live and, and follow him. Uh, and also, of course, he expels darkness. And you think about the darkness out there, that's the great thing about light, it gets rid of the darkness so we can see. And there's loads of darkness and we, we would have thought about that particularly this year. Um, but there's a kind of discomfort now as well because there's darkness inside of us. and. Um, Jesus comes and he says he's a light of the world, but, but people love darkness because they like to hide their stuff away. And this is an, uh, while there's an, a comforting thing about the light, there's a discomforting thing about the light too. But then I was thinking too, if, you, if you're old enough to remember cameras, um, where you actually had a film and you had to slot it in the back, not a digital camera. And if you know anything about photography, you'll know a little bit about that. But if you remembered when you put your camera in, you had to make sure you didn't expose it to the light because uh, when you took the film out, if you exposed it to light, you lost everything that was on the film. Uh, and that was a really annoying thing that would happen. But actually, when you think about Jesus being the light of the world who expels darkness, who exposes darkness, that can be a kind of encouraging thing because what Jesus does is he comes and dies for us. Is that in a sense, he says, I want to pull on the, 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 the film of your life. I want to expose it. And of course, as he exposes all the stuff in our lives, uh, actually, he wipes it clean and, and the light of Christ exposes the darkness and it's no longer seen as he wipes away all the, the darkness on, us on the cross. So that's a huge joy. Uh, and, uh, and a bit of a challenge is like, what, what are we going to do? Are we going to come into the light? Uh, or would we choose to stay in the darkness? Because Jesus is the light of the world.